Hello, my reading friends. It's Ani. I'm so glad you're here. If you like reading stories with me, be sure to subscribe. All right, today's shout outs go to Emmerich and Elodie in San Francisco, California, little Sahana and Siddharth in Bangalore, India, Mirko, Nora, and Beppe on the island of Malta, and Miral and little Lorene in Dubai. Hello to all of you. I just love our great big international reading family. Are you ready for a story? Well, today we have a timely book that's very applicable to how we're living as we shelter at home. It's called While We Can't Hug. If you have a copy, go get it so you can read along with me. While We Can't Hug by Owen McLaughlin and Polly Dunbar. Hedgehog and Tortoise were the best of friends. They wanted to give each other a great big hug, but they weren't allowed to touch. Don't worry, said Owl. There are lots of ways to show someone you love them. Hedgehog tried a wave. That made Tortoise smile. Tortoise made a funny face. That made Hedgehog laugh. <laughs> Hedgehog wrote a letter, and Tortoise wrote one back. And when Tortoise did a little dance, Hedgehog joined in too. Hedgehog blew a kiss across the gap between them. Tortoise saw it and caught it and kept it and sent three back again. Tortoise sang a little song. La 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 la! Hedgehog played along. They both painted pictures so that everyone would know they were friends. Through rain, and shine. They could not touch. They could not hug. But they both knew that they were loved. There are a lot of people we love but have to keep our distance from right now. Thank goodness there are so many wonderful ways to show we care. I hope you enjoyed our story today. See you next time.